this clearly got old. So like him or not, thank goodness for the traffic signal and the smoke hood. Two items that have saved countless lives, and all thanks to this man, Garrett Morgan. Born in Claysville, Kentucky, Garrett Morgan was the son of two freed slaves, Sidney and Elizabeth Reed. Like most black children at the turn of the century, Morgan quit school to help his family and worked full-time sweeping floors for garment factories. With only a sixth grade education, Morgan taught himself how machines worked and started a reputation in repairing sewing machines, all the while learning and building a great fascination with engineering. After moving to Ohio, it was here where he'd create his first invention, the belt fastener and zigzag patterns for sewing machines. It wasn't long before he would open the doors to his own repair shop, where he'd create his next invention, a hair refiner. Uh, wait, what? While experimenting with new fabric oils, Morgan wiped his hands on a cloth and found the next day that the hairs on the cloth were perfectly straight. He tried it on a neighbor's dog to find the results the same every time. He bottled it, branded it, and G.A. Morgan's hair refiner was a hit. With money in the bank, Morgan was able to pursue his scientific studies. After seeing firefighters struggling with every fire from smoke inhalation, Morgan created and patented the idea of the smoke hood that would take in air from the ground level, with the smoke in the hot air above, with the clearer air safe to breathe below. Morgan would go on to even prove that his invention worked when he and his brother Frank rescued two men from a gas-filled tunnel, making Morgan a hero. While his invention went on to save countless lives of firemen and soldiers in World War I and World War II. In the later years after witnessing a horrifying car accident, Morgan went to work on the traffic signal. With the first only showing stop and go, Mr. Morgan's design utilized the three-position traffic signal. Thus was born the yellow light. Morgan was also conscious of what was going on in his community. Creating the Cleveland Association of Colored Men in 1908, Morgan died only one year before the passage of the Civil Rights Act, an inventor and pioneer who, in my humble opinion, rivaled Edison, a foundational change maker and a hero in the sciences. And that's just two minutes of a real black superhero history lesson.